Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, today we have a pre-recorded video. I uh, quickly want to put together this list. So this is something we played against last night. Um, it is a Command the Dreadhorde Cruel Celebrant Massacre Girl or Bantu combo deck. Uh, it was wild. They had like 40 plus triggers of Cruel Celebrant on the stack and then just combo one out of nowhere. Um, so I didn't get the full list. I got to see a couple cards in it. Uh, but best trying to replicate. So basically the core of the deck is the Wanderer makes it so you take no damage when you com cast Command the Dreadhorde. So you can bring back a ton of stuff. And then when you bring your creatures back, Massacre Girl basically kills your first afterlife creature. And then its uh, ability keeps stacking so all your creatures die. Because everything sees each other as it enters. You get a ton of Cruel Celebrant triggers and just basically burn your opponent out of the game. Um, the rest of the deck is cheap afterlife creatures that leave something behind. Uh, Stitcher Supplier puts stuff into your graveyard. Uh, gutter Bones can keep coming back. Cruel Celebrants, basically how you deal the damage. Mausoleum Secrets can tutor up uh, the Command the Dread Horde. Or if you have enough of a board presence, either the pieces here. Um, I want to try out Midnight Reaper. It may be wrong. Uh, we might just want to play like duress or something, but we'll try it out a couple games just in case we kind of flame out the first time. Uh, the Wanderer is basically used as a combo piece, and then I'm doing a mix of both Bantu and Masker Girl. Bantu has some advantage to draw steeper. Um, so I'm going to try it out on best of one. Uh, the rest of the mana base is pretty standard. Your duels, a couple more Memorial to Follies, pretty much what we play in all our black-white decks. Um, but this list seems sweet, and uh, we'll give it a shot. Uh, the one thing that I was considering playing as well was some number of Tithe Takers, so we'll see if Midnight Reaper or Tithe Taker is a better play here. But uh, we'll run it through. So for those of you who are tuning into the channel for the first time, uh, I'm MTG Joe. We put, try to put out videos almost every day, but usually I'll get between three to seven videos a week playing everything from super budget builds to tier one and everything in between. Um, the support, everything I play on the channel is available on YouTube afterwards. Uh, something that's quick and easy that I ask if you can is hitting that subscribe button. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel and uh, keep things going. Uh, so this hand, we'll try it out. We have half of the combo that we could search up. So the supplier gets us going. Okay, so we got a piece of the combo in there. We need a wander. Uh, so this might be mono red. So here I want to just get out as many spells as we can. We need to get to six mana for Command the Dreadhorde. This could be a Boros deck. Okay, it's a feather deck. Um, so here we want to play defensively. I'm just going to play out the Orzhov Enforcer. It actually does a good job of blocking Dreadhorde Anarchist. Um, here I'm going to attack for one. want to fill the great. You know, I probably should have waited a turn. Got the Midnight Reaper value. Okay, so Wander is there. Almost there. Four in the deck. This can get pretty big. So they think twice about it. Here we'll just play with the Midnight Reaper. And pass the turn. This will help us draw some cards now. We can keep mid, uh, Gutter Bonesing back. Okay, so they have the feather. Feather can go over the top of us, which we need to be so mindful of. Uh, not ideally what we want. So... This could get Massacre Girl. Draw us a ton of cards. We're one creature shy. Let's see if they block here. Okay, gives us a redraw. Let's just get Massacre Girl. Okay, 
That's good, that gets us the land. So we'll just end the turn here. Tutor at Massacre Girl. We don't have any cruel celebrants, so we probably need a setup turn. We will take quite a bit of damage from this dying. Opponent doesn't have any pump spells, which is somewhat advantageous to us. Just play this out now. You know, we should have probably attacked with the 1-1 one -one just to gain a life. So that triggers. You'll get we'll get another trigger. Triggers there, a bunch of afterlife. So that's basically how you win like the combo turn. Okay, really good. We got Cruel Celebrant for the next turn. And then we can start chipping in some damage. Concedes. So not exactly how we want it to win, but <laughs> a really sweet way to show how the triggers can stack. Play a couple more. That was probably a good matchup of just linear play. So, nice mix of cards here, ha half the combos in hand, we want to fill our graveyard a bit more. Main board, Wander, Investa one is also really good. This could be mono black aggro. We'll attack in. Fine. Cast down doesn't really do too much, especially against gutter bones. If they're playing Cryo Carnarium, target player discards two cards. Discard. Discard. Oh, this might be the Davriel discard deck. Which honestly isn't the worst. Next turn, we just get down the Wanderer. So we'll attack here, see if they take the trade. Uh, here, I'm gonna just get back Gutter Bones. It's actually more power than Orzhov Enforcer. And it gives us something to pitch to keep the Wanderer in hand. So they Chupacabra here. That replaces itself. Gets us land for the Wanderer. And we have Massacre Girl. From here, I don't think they would play Cry Carnarium with the creatures that they have. So they're going to force us to discard. No blocks here. You can do better than that. Uh, probably just get rid of Orzhov Enforcer. So 
So we'll just end the turn here. I want to hold back the gutter bone so Lisa trades with the Chupacabra. So they need to decide there. And then we can discard gutter bones, get it back to hand. So second Chupacabra. A land into Masca Girl clears this up pretty nice. So they switch their attention to us. Okay, perfect. So this kills that. Kills that. And then we'll just pass the turn. Massacre Girl's been pretty good just as a board wipe with creatures. They've also shown cast down as their removal. This turns off Raider's Wake. Get these back to hand and then just play one out. Pass turn. So, so far Masca Girl's been like the real MVP. They can attack and get us to discard the gutter bones, which is nominal. Effectively hits us for three. They are taking a lot more damage back. Gutter bones, and then play out gutter bones. So we're presenting lethal. Actually, they could gain a life and hold it back. Oh, this is that 5 0 list that finished. So we can exile that. Attack for everything. I should probably block there. Seems pretty aggressive considering we can just recast it. Take a damage. So we can... Ah, opponent didn't let us do it. We could have just taken everything in the graveyard, all the chupacabras, everything. Uh, let's crack our pack, see what we get. Uh, garbage card. Run it back for another one. Sex pin felt pretty good. I don't know if we want to get rid of the Bont. I think I like the mix of the Bont too. Midnight Reaper's shown to be pretty good here. Mind you, we've been playing pretty much creature decks. Looks sweet. Stitcher Splier. Into Orzhov Enforcer. Got part of the combo here. They adapt like if they attack here, I'm just gonna take it. We don't know if this is the adapt version or the merfolk version, so no blocks here. What did we mill? Adapt costs two less. So here this could kind of help offset our life totals. We Midnight Reaper, uh, probably Enforcer next turn. A 
Adama's climb. This makes the activated cost less. This does turn off adapt, which is notable. Uh, I'm gonna take the two damage here. And we're gonna play Midnight Reaper. Or actually, because that's gonna get three counters. So let's just do this. Play that out. Last turn. Because then this can flip and they can start giving it flying and they can go over the top. Sharko Crab can tap down her stuff. Doesn't untap during her next untap step. Uh, no blocks. Okay, so we need the Massacre Girl, so this will set us up there. So they're gonna put a counter on that. Whenever a creature and opponent becomes tapped, if it's declared, you may draw a card. So that's a cool interaction there. Sharko Crab taps down. And that. I get the Midnight Reaper back next turn. I think we're dead regardless here. They're gonna double up this power next turn. Uh, Cruel Celebrant helps a bit. But they're still gonna flip it. Let's see if they let this die. Play this out. So if they flip it, then they give it the counter, gives it flying, so they probably kill us. Oh, they did mess up there and they tried to adapt it. So that might take them off. No, they should still have a mana. Could just chip through the damage. Opponent's really overthinking this. Oh, it's only creatures you control. So we still have a blocker this turn. So there might be a chance. So we still have to play that creature. We could have not attacked, but the opponent had the win. They played kind of silly there. So, got a block there. Draws us another card. Did we hit a Massacre Girl? No. The opponent hasn't really shown anything. So we'll gain some life. So we need to draw Masker Girl and we're a mana short. Uh, what could we command the Dread Horde back? I don't think we have anything. Because this can't get the Wanderer either. Yeah, we're 
dead. Ah. If we didn't attack, got Massacre Girl, we could have. Could have probably recovered there. The flying's what did us in. Just the most random Sharko crab. It's not the card I thought we'd be losing to today. So we'll run it for one more. Uh, let's keep this. Pretty simple. We have ways to put creatures into our grave. Ways to draw with Bantu. If we flood. So no attacks here. Just keep going like this. This is kind of scary. Wonder if we want Plight Crafter. It's actually pretty gross. We're just going to block here, just keep our life total as high as possible. It's actually not a bad draw. So, we could have another Water Trap Weaver. Man, I really want to play Mono Red. Mainboard Wander just kind of trumps them. Mena. It's not a fun card. So they can take a turn off, just put counters. They can also just attack in for two and then draw a card. Cruel Celebrant's not bad. Draw a card here. I might go with this and just get a uh, Stitcher Supplier. It blocks. Ah, that's not what we want to see. It's a lot of power. So we'll see how they attack here. Depending, we could put two more creatures in the graveyard. Okay, attack for six. Attack for ten. The last known mode for Kumena. So here, I think what we do attack like this. Cast Bantu. I'm probably dead anyways, to be honest. Let's draw four cards. So... Next turn we can Massacre Girl. 
Oh, can't be blood. Yeah, we did. So if Bantu was a massacre girl there, we probably win. But it also drew us a bunch of cards. Let's try one more. These games are going quick at least. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Stitcher Supplier can fill our yard. Ah, wanted the Command the Dreadhorde, obviously, in hand. Okay, so we got a Wander. Okay, so we got couple more combo pieces in the yard. It's actually a pretty good draw. Looks like we're against some sort of mono green deck. Gonna slowly start getting outclassed. But the Wanderer against mono green probably has text. Steel Leaf. Ah, they probably just drew that this turn. We'll attack with everything here. So we might just end up winning with like a black white aggro draw. Yeah. So at the very least, you just smash face with a bunch of one drops. That was faster than we anticipated, so more games for you. I want to get the combo off at least. Uh, yeah, we'll try this out. We're missing white. Just play that out. We can see if we want to play Enforcer on two or Gutter Bones. Just play out the Gutter Bones. Next turn, play out Midnight Reaper. Augur Bolas. This is probably the Demir Kefnet deck. Uh, here do we want to try to draw a card? I think we do. If we can get a white card, we can play Cruel Celebrant and Orzhov Enforcer. Perfect. And we can always get this back. If they have Cryocarnarium, then we're pretty dead. Uh, we need to get that off the, the battlefield. So we'll see if they block with Augur here. So we have the combo in play actually. We just need to get some more stuff into the graveyard. Wander and Dreadhorde. Interesting they didn't tick down Narset. So they're missing land drops. Oh no, they're not. So they mastermind. That likely means cryocarnarium. Which feels bad normally, but with this hand is actually pretty solid. So we're gonna massacre girl or, or oh our board away, draw a bunch of cards and turn off their cryocarnarium. Such violence is 
settings. Oh no, that doesn't actually do what I wanted it to do. That was a mirror. We didn't have anything to trigger the initial kill. Everything was too toughness. Ah, oh, opponent still concedes. So we did alright. Anyways, that's the deck. We'll probably run it back another time, try to get the combo off. Um, but it seems pretty sweet so far. Especially if you like like black-white kind of aristocrat decks. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe and have a great one.